you drink has been treated in up to six different ways to make it clean and safe. And by following one drop of water, we can see where water comes from and what happens to it before it reaches our taps. Some water is taken from boreholes deep underground. Water from boreholes in the Thames region comes into contact with rocks which contain calcium and magnesium. This is why it's sometimes called hard water. Having undergone nature's cleaning process by passing through many layers of rock, borehole water is already very pure and only needs disinfecting before being delivered to your homes. Water that comes from rivers, however, needs more treatment. The first stage in that process is to pass the water through a screen. This removes debris, such as twigs and leaves. Next, the water is usually pumped into a clay-lined reservoir, where the heaviest particles settle at the bottom and many bacteria die. However, reservoirs can be fun too. Water is pumped from the reservoir to the treatment works, where the first task is to clean the water thoroughly. Some locations use chemicals as a means of cleaning, but more than 80% of water is treated using sand filtration. Using the filtration method, the water is first channeled through a fast sand filter. The sand and gravel physically trap most of the particles in the water. Then it goes on to the slow sand filter. Slower filtering enables finer particles to be trapped. Bacteria on the surface of the sand help this purification process. The water is now cleaner and ready for further processing. A small number of works use a chemical method to clean the water. Here, the water first goes through a micro strainer or fast sand filter. Then it's treated with a substance which coagulates or binds the very small particles together, making them heavier. The particles can then fall to the bottom. The clean water is taken off and filtered to remove the last of the very fine particles. Whether the water is treated by the chemical method or by sand filtration, it's now ready for a process that takes water technology into the next century, beyond current guidelines laid down by the European Commission in Brussels. It's called granular activated carbon, or GAC for short. It uses the properties of carbon to eliminate even microscopic traces of other chemicals that persist in water, such as nitrogen fertilizers or pesticides. Having been through all these processes, the water is clean. However, a final safeguard remains, disinfection using chlorine. Treatment with chlorine takes place in a contact tank. Once in the tank, it takes at least one hour for contact with chlorine to kill any remaining germs in the water. Then the level of chlorine is reduced using sulfur dioxide. But the water still travels through the mains with a trace of chlorine in it in order to keep the pipe network clean and free of germs. The water is checked throughout these different processes for quality and checked again within the main system. This guarantees that every drop that leaves your tap is clean and fresh. 